didn't care more than words can say. All right, I'm out here doing uh, some additional testing. And, uh, well, the sun's coming up, but it's uh, early morning here. I do have some watts coming in. And if you can see, the uh, charge controller, I'll put it on macro here. Hold on. Now you see the charge controller, which is my solar boost, is, uh, it's doing uh, what's called the acceptance charge right now. So it's blinking on and off. It's kind of a 50% duty cycle. <clears throat> I have all my switches set. I should say all of them. Set where that's charging the battery. The uh, Primetric is saying we're charging at a 7.2 amp rate which is fine and I thought okay I'll just go here until it flips over to float mode before I start uh, moving uh, the charge over to the grid ties but then I thought well you know what I got my tracker going let me just see how many watts it's generating so I, I put the tracker over on grid tie and the amps did not go down for my charge controller and I am getting 70 or 80 or 85 89 90 watts now into the grid and I'm still charging so then I shut off the next panel which is this one over here my 65 water so now we're putting its charge into the grid but our charge controller is still charging at 7 2 and I'm getting 25 into the grid on that, excuse me, the 80 water. So then I thought, okay, I'll shut off my 65. <clears throat> oh, now it's starting to come off a little bit, but I am putting 37 in on that panel. So what that's suggesting here is it's, as it was in this, uh, acceptance charge mode it wasn't using everything that all the solar had made available and I could put some of it on the grid tie while the uh, charge controller still wanted to provide 7 amps into the batteries. Now if I shut off or move one of the larger panels over well, look at that. It's still holding 7.1. And I'm getting 70 watts from one of those panels into the grid. And I'm still charging my batteries. So the total going in the grid right now, 228. And charge controller still happy doing 7.1 amps. Let's try one more. Okay, so there you go. That dropped down to 4.8 amps for batteries. The charge status went back to charging. So that was just on the threshold, obviously. I am getting 70 watts on that one, 74 on the other one. Total 302. But anyway, Basic, uh, kind of, I hadn't noticed this before that uh, I could probably just put on enough switches to keep the battery in the mode that it was in and try to get the excess to go to the uh, to the grid. So, actually, I'm going to try to see if I can put it into except mode there with the smallest panel. The 65 and one of my 135s are the only two that are shut off to the grid. They're running the batteries at the moment. So that's pretty interesting, huh?
least I think so. Talk to you later.